Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So I am currently in Sydney right now on a work trip. So I'm here for a night and I thought I would share with you what I pack for a one night or a short trip. I'm so proud of myself because this is like the smallest bag I've packed going into state. So this trip, all I bought with me was this backpack. This is the Four Raven, if that's how you spell it, um, in the Kangen backpack. And I thought I'll do a what's in my bag, what I packed for this trip, as well as a bag review because I've actually been carrying this bag. This has been my work bag for a few months now. I just find it super handy and it fits a lot of stuff in. So I'm just going to jump right into it and show you what I bought with me. So I literally just checked in. I'm at Swiss Hotel right now and I thought I'll do this quickly so I can go shopping. Um, I'm actually here for a work gala, so plenty of drinks tonight. But this is literally like packed to the brim and a lot of this stuff I don't really need but I thought I'll bring it with me anyway. So the first thing I bought was my um, clutch. This is the mini pochette Louis Vuitton pochette and in here I've got my wallet and I had my phone in there which I'm using to record this as well. I just want it super easy to um, carry so I don't have to through my bag for the essentials so I've got this second thing I've got in here is this bag and this is through for this is for all of my technology stuff um, so in here is where I've got my charger which is really important when you go overseas um, this one I didn't have it a short cord so this is like a three meter cord but this is like a super fast charging one so it's pretty convenient um, I've also got here my portable um, charger. This is the Chanel replica one, which I really, really like. It did come with a mirror, but I accidentally dropped it so many times that it broke up. But it still works a charm when it comes to charging my phone. And the last thing I've got here is my headphones. These are the Friends. Um, I think they're, I believe they're the Layla ones in the rose gold. And these come in handy, especially when you're on the plane um, or just in the taxi or things like that. The next thing I've got is food. Um, me, being me, I always come prepared for snacks um, throughout the day. Like I said, this is a work trip, so I'm actually here for a work gala dinner tonight. Um, but just in case during the day, I thought I'd bring some snacks. So I did pack with me a whole bunch of these wafers. These ones I got from Costco. These are by the brand Loca, Loeca. These are the mini creme cacaos, and they're pretty much little wafers, and they're so freaking nice. They're like so soft they just melt in your mouth i know they sell these brands of chocolate at woolworths but these individual packs i actually bought from costco and they're so nice to snack on another snack i got is a packet of doritos um there's only a little bit left so i thought i'll bring it and finish it if i get hungry and the last food snack I bought was a little bag of um, granola bars. So I actually made these. Um, I did a blog post on it if you want to read it. They're just really nice muesli slash nut um, granola bars. So I bought this to snack on because um, I wasn't sure. I thought I was actually going to go into work today. But we're just kind of hanging around this, um, the city um, before we go to the gala. So I bought those just in case to snack on. And the next thing is clothing. So I am literally here for one night so I'm here for two days um, I'm just pretty much wearing like really basic I'm wearing leggings and like a top and I did come in wearing a jumper um, only because it was a bit cold but now it's starting to warm up so the only other item of clothing I bought was this blazer this is a thrifted one that I was gonna wear tonight for the gala dinner so our gala dinner is actually themed as um, Casino Royale um, I was gonna plan to wear a dress and get all glammed up but I thought you know what let's go something different and wear a suit so I was gonna wear like a whole suit but camera kind of look like a hobo when it's so I end up just wearing the blazer and that's just what I'm gonna wear tonight and also I did bring another top to wear as well to get changed tomorrow but I'm pretty much just gonna wear the same pants because and I'm not really doing much so I didn't feel like I had to bring a lot of clothes and plus tomorrow we're heading straight to the airport after checkout anyway um, so yeah so those are the only two items of clothing that I bought obviously I bought some underwear as well um, I bought two pairs because you can never have enough underwear I um, always carry two regardless of how short the trip is and I put them in plastic bag for sanitary reasons um, I've also got in here a little bag full of stationary stuff um, mainly so I've got here argan oil this is a Swiss 
argan oil, face argan oil. Um, I just put it in a plastic um, snap bag because it did seem to be leaking a bit and just to be safe, I put that in a bag. Um, the only reason why I bought this is because I didn't really bring any other um, face face wash or anything like that I can use this as a makeup removal as well as a moisturizer like a nighttime moisturizer um, I find at a lot of hotels and because I'm aware of Swiss Hotel they provide like soap gel and things like that um, so because we're here for a night it's no big deal so I just bought this um, as my little routine I've also got here oh no oh wait yep I've also got here um, toothbrush and toothpaste because I find it that some most hotels nowadays don't provide toothpaste they provide like um, ew, they provide like shower gel shower lotion all that jazz but they never provide like a lot of times they don't provide toothbrush or toothpaste so I bought my own um, just in case because you know always need clean fresh teeth and apart from that, the other stuff I have in this bag are my brushes. So these are my essential brushes that I usually use for face makeup. So I've got two brushes for contouring. This is for the cheeks and this is for the nose. Um, I've got one for like, you know, powder concealer just for around the nose area. And I've got two um, for highlighting on the cheeks and also the bridge of the nose as well and I've got a tweezer because I always carry a tweezer with me so those are the everything that's in this and I got this from Thailand a few years ago actually it just comes in handy to carry everything in um, I've also bought some wet towels they just come in handy for a lot of things to help remove makeup just to refresh your face or clean up any mess um, so they are great when it comes to traveling I've also got in here as part of my makeup so I've got my little compact mirror this is something that I bought recently from catch of the day it's a compact mirror with two different sizings but this bit here glows I don't know if you can see but it kind of glows which comes in handy um, regardless of wit like you know there's bad lighting or anything like that so I can't wait to use I haven't used it yet but I've got that and the other makeup that I've got is this um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit powder kit so this is just handy all-in-one face um, eyeshadow contouring and highlighting things like that so that's what I've bought I've also got in here a bunch of um, pads because Ladies, if you feel me when it's you know it's that time of the month coming and it's that waiting game. I don't have it yet, TMI, but I am anticipating it, so I bought a whole lot just in case because you can never be too prepared. I'm always really forgetful when it comes to that. Um, I've also bought an umbrella. Umbrella is because Melbourne, Sydney, the weather is unpredictable and it did forecast to rain a bit. So I bought one just in case. And I've also got in here my little, this is my little kind of wallet case with all my cards, extra cards. I just chuck in the bottom of my bag in case I need it. And I've also got the Jo Malone perfume. This is in English pear and freesia. Um, just to smell nice and that's pretty much all I have in the main compartment the back compartment I've just got my um, work laptop I bought this just in case I needed it as well as the charger and that's pretty much it I've got a little prayer book that my auntie gave me I just carry this everywhere um, not that I really read it every night but I just thought it would be nice to carry around with me I feel slightly I don't know like safer if that makes sense with it so that's all I've got in the back um, in the front pocket is a few more random stuff so I've got here um, tissues because you can never be too short on tissues as well because you never know where you're gonna go um, I've got my lip balm this is the lippies lip ointment which I really really like and I've got here a lot of loose makeup that I carry around every day so because I'm going to the gala tonight I thought I'll have red lips so I bought with me the Kylie um, lip liqueur the matte liqueur well, what's it called the the, the matte liquid lipstick this is in Mary Jo K and I also bought the Maybelline color drama lip liner as well um, I've also got in here some eyebrows so I did my eyebrows this morning but I thought I'll bring it just in case for touch up so I've got here the 
Marc Jacobs, this is the, what is this? This is the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow Defining Longwear in Ash Brown, is it? Ash Brown, yep. So this used to be a really light for me, but now that I've gone blonde, it's perfect. But just to kind of give it a little more even colour, I also top it up with the NYX Mascara. Um, this is the Tinted Brow Mascara, which is perfect blend for, with my hair colour. And I've got here a couple of lip pencils as well. So I've got the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl, as well as the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. So these are kind of like my go-to for natural lips. Also carry my favourite concealer. This is my foolproof because it comes with a brush. This is the Age Rewind, Maybelline Age Rewind concealer also have some eyeliner so this is the Kat, uh, Kat Von Du Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner so I really like this it's really black really easy to apply no fuss also have here some hand sanitizer this is from the Bath and Body Works this is the Mad About You I love their hand sanitizers because they smell really nice um, I've got here a little lipstick. This is by Tarte. It's part of their mini collect Christmas collection that I had. So I've just got that because it's nice and tiny to carry around. Have some more perfume. This is the Burberry Brit Rhythm. This is perfect because it's like a roller kind of perfume. So it's really easy to apply when you're on the go. Um, I've got here my keys for when I get home. Have a few packets of mint. These are from Japan. My brother got these for us when he went to Japan a while back now, but these are really good. I don't know whether you can find these in Melbourne, but I really want to stock up on this and get more. I've got some blotting sheets, which I will need to use shortly because I feel really flustered right now. Um, but these come in handy. Oh, and the Hello Kitty as well, because I love Hello Kitty. And I've got here another prayer book. My auntie just gives me a lot of these and I don't know why I just carry it around because you know in case I ever want to read it or something like that I've got a compact mirror um, this is by Chanel and I really like it because it's really nice and slim and I've got some more this is a tart what does it say tardiest tardiest I don't know what this is this is a mini bronze kind of um, eyeliner but I plan to use it as like eyeshadow so it's nice and small I think this was also a Christmas edition so I've got that in case I wanted more color for makeup so these are all that kind of like really small nothing too bulky kind of makeup and I've also got a pen because you know in case I need to write something I've got a ventolin path because it is spring and I don't know like it's kind of like hay fever season and I feel like I've always just in case I'm short of breath or I ever need it I've always got one just in case because there are there have been times where I really needed I was having trouble with breathing and the last thing I've got in here is a little um this is a aromatherapy associates reviving oil morning oil I've never actually really used it I've got this I bought a packet of this where it comes like night and day and you're supposed to rub it on your pulse just kind of help you um sleep a bit but I don't know why I've got this in my bag but I do have that and last thing I've got is a couple of these I think these were from Adele concert which are just little confetti they were chucking around I don't know why this is in my bag but I've got a few of those in my bag as well but that's pretty much it so just a big a bit of bag review this is the Full Raven, Fajor Raven, I don't know how to say it in Kanga. This is the um, the larger size, I believe, because it comes in like a smaller size. Um, in the, I think this is like a kind of like a navy, black navy and red um, straps. And this is a perfect size. I bought this because it was a perfect size to fit my work laptop. What I was doing was I was carrying my normal bag with a laptop bag. And sometimes I was carrying a lunch bag. So I was carrying all these bags. So I decided to get this bag which fits everything into one. Um, perfectly there's a lot of room so it's quite a really simple bag comes with like these I don't even want to know what to call these are these nylon or something straps um, which are really durable and there's only pretty much like one big compartment with a little slot which is where I put my laptop in and it has like a little slot at the front little pouch where I keep like just things I want to grab as well as some side slots which I don't really know what to do with these I've got some extra bags just in case but 
yeah, I don't really know what to put in there, but it's a really, really easy bag to carry around. Um, I do recommend this, like if you are, you know, going to school or if you're working and you carry a lot of stuff, it's just a really easy bag to carry. And I was worried at first because it is quite a simple strap that it may not be comfortable, but it is pretty much comfortable as. So it's quite durable as well. But yeah, I love this bag. So I definitely think it's a good investment. And I bought this on the Iconic when they had their 30% off. Um, a few months ago and I believe they had a 30% off recently for their birthday but this was originally I think 130 um, Australian dollars and I ended up buying it for like $100 so it was fairly cheap and affordable but yeah just really really handy but that is pretty much everything that I packed for this trip um, my glasses I don't know why it's like flat nose problem I, my glasses always fog up but excuse the mess but that's pretty much everything that's in my bag. So I'll just give you a real quick overview because everything is kind of scattered all over the floor. Anyway, so I thought it would be interesting to show you what I packed for this trip. Just some, you know, inspirational ideas. If you're going on a short trip, let me know what your essential um, traveling tips or traveling things are. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye.